Hi, um, in this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to use the class function in ClickView. So at the moment I don't have the data set within this ClickView file. So I'm going to go into the Excel spreadsheet I'm taking my data from. I'm going to add a new column called Order Criteria. And I'm basically going to say, give me random numbers between 1 and 59. Click that all the way down, drag it across and back, copy here as values only, click save. So I'm going to go back into the click view file, into the edit script. I'm going to uncomment where I have order criteria and reload the script. So now I'm just going to create a new straight table. And instead of choosing order criteria, I'm going to Add a calculated dimension, and the dimension is equals class order criteria, comma ten. The ten basically I want them grouped in, in from one to ten, eleven to twenty, etc. Comma order criteria. Close your parentheses. Click OK. Um, click next. And for every ten, we want the sum of profit. We're going to sort it by numeric value in ascending order. And we're just going to choose money for the, um, the sum of profit. Let's change that to the euro sign. I don't know why that's not working, but sure. Click finish. So now as you can see we have a new straight table with the order class on the left hand side so we've 0 to force 10, 10 to 20, 10, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and so on um, and we've the sum of the profit. So basically I've manipulated the data just, to, just for test purposes so I've added num random numbers between 1 to 59, I've gone into the edit script, I've added order criteria, I've reloaded the script. And now I have, rather than using a, a massive big long if statement, I now have classed them in groups of 10 based on the numbers that I put in. So that's pretty much it. I hope that helps somebody out there. Now, sometimes it's easier to actually use the if statement. Um, I'm basically, this is the example I'm using to explain how class can be used, but sometimes it is better to use an if statement because if I, would, if I was to say numbers between... 1 and 60, you'd start getting between 60 and 70, but you really want it to fall within the 60, so, um, anyway, it's, it's a quick example, and it's, um, it's something that could uh, come in handy for somebody out there, so, that's pretty much it, see you next video, thanks.